We turn now to a Fox 5 I team exclusive. Under then Insurance Commissioner Jim Beck, Insurance Department staff closed a criminal investigation at the request of Beck's former boss and campaign contributor, John Oxenda. A federal grand jury has since indicted Beck on unrelated fraud charges, and the State Ethics Commission is prosecuting Oxendine on allegations he violated campaign finance laws. Uh, Fox 5 senior I team reporter Dale Russell says after he asked to review the case file, the new Insurance Commissioner, John King, reopen the investigation. Yeah. That's right, Russ, and Commissioner King didn't know anything about this case. The investigation revolved around allegations that a middle Georgia insurance company charged customers for extra products that the customers didn't know about and didn't request. And three months after taking office, Jim Beck's department shut the investigation down. It's a very serious investigation. Good government watchdog Sarah Henderson doesn't understand why then Insurance Commissioner Jim Beck would shut down a nearly three-year-old investigation at the request of a campaign contributor who was once Beck's boss. There's a serious problem. This is a huge investigation. The criminal investigation began in Cordell, Georgia in 2016 when insurance department agents raided Southern Harvest Insurance Agency. According to the case file obtained by the I-Team under the Georgia Open Records Act, agents worked the case for nearly three years. The file showed the investigation began when one woman complained that an accidental death and dismemberment policy had been added to her contract without her knowledge. She wrote, this is not my signature. I did not ask for this insurance. The policy would cost an extra $120 a year. That's crazy. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely crazy that that, that, that happened and it happened to vulnerable communities in, in our state. That, that is the, the most sick, sickening part of, of this. Insurance agents investigated. They conducted dozens and dozens of interviews with customers and insurance agents. The state mailed questionnaires to Southern Harvest customers to see if they knew they were charged extra for an accidental death policy. Were you aware you were paying for accidental death and dismemberment? 395 said no, five said yes. That's crazy. So that right there tells us that there are enough people that have been harmed by this. This investigation needs to be, we need to be uh, prosecuting these folks to the fullest extent of the law. As the complex case slowly unfolded, a new insurance commissioner was elected, Jim Beck. According to the file, three months after Beck took office, former insurance commissioner John Oxendine, now representing Southern Harvest, convinced the department to shut down the nearly three-year-old investigation. According to his LinkedIn page, Beck was once Deputy Insurance Commissioner under Oxendine. Oxendine also contributed to Beck's campaign. Oxendine argued that one insurance agent made a terrible mistake by jumping the gun and clearly attempts to manufacture evidence. The file shows that after Oxendine made his argument, there were discussions inside the insurance department about a possible consent order with Southern Harvest. One staffer even wrote, Southern Harvest should be fined and put on probation, but it never happened. The very next day, the case was closed. Oxendine wrote the I-Team to say it was only misconduct by one isolated agent who was fired. After nearly three years, there was no credible evidence of any wrongdoing on the part of Southern Harvest. The whole idea of agencies and the government is to protect consumers, to protect citizens. And that clearly has not happened in this case. An internal memo in Attorney General Chris Carr's office states there wasn't enough evidence of theft or forgery to prove a scheme to deceive customers. Carr's spokesperson told me the Attorney General did not know about John Oxendine's role in the case. Where is the justice for the, the little person? And why are these top government officials not looking out for the best interest of Georgians? One month after the case was closed, Oxendine contributed $14,000 to Beck's campaign, the maximum amount. How does that look? It looks awful. It looks like there was a political deal made at the expense of Georgia consumers. Oxendine told me there was no connection between the case and the contribution. He said Beck was sitting insurance commissioner. I was going to max out my contribution to him anyway. 
Now, nearly three months after the case was closed, Confi, a national insurance company, announced it was buying Southern Harvest Insurance. Now, the new insurance commissioner, John King, learned about this case when we asked to see the closed file. After he reviewed the case, he reopened the investigation. Now, concentrating on the actions of the individual agents who may have added products and costs onto unsuspecting customers' policies. Russ and Deidre. Some 400 of them, as you pointed out. There, uh, that's, uh, that was the answer to the survey question. You're right. It said that they had no idea that this had been added. 395, I think it was, but um, just no idea whatsoever. So, and, and that's reflected when you read the entire file. All right. Dale, Very thanks. concerning. Thank you, Dale.